Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Hey everybody, welcome in to Body Time Sports. I am Harry McCullough. Recently released, fresh off the press, is the soccer pairings uh, for the soccer playoffs. They'll get ready. They always do right around Mardi Gras. So uh, this is what's happening. We'll start in the girls' division. In Division One. Mount Carmel plays H.L. Bourgeois. Bourgeois is a 24 seed going against the always tough Mount Carmel team. Central Lafourche is the 25 seed. They'll play Lafayette. That will be in Lafayette. Uh, Central Lafourche trying to make an upset there. And Thibodeau has to travel up to Shreveport to take on Captain Shreve as uh, the Lady Tigers will play in that division. In Division Two, it's Parkway against Ellender. That'll be in Parkway for that game. Also traveling is South Terrebonne. They're the 20 seed. They're going out to play West Washita. And also in Division Two, it's Turlings Catholic playing host to South Lafouche. So the Tarpons are looking to get their fifth win of the year with a big upset at, uh, at Turlings. In uh, the Division Two, also, Terrebonne will be at home. They got a home game as they come in as the seventh seed. They'll play Como, who comes out of the Lafayette area. And also at home in 3A is, or Division Three, I should say, Edie White. They are the five seed this year. They'll play host to Kaplan. Kaplan comes in with a 4-11 and record. Uh, Lady Cardinals looking pretty good at 13-5-3, uh, and three, always powerhouse in that division. Also in Division Three, Morgan City will travel to Lake Charles to take on St. Louis Catholic. Uh, Morgan City looking for their third win of the year. And the Vanderbilt Terriers are at home in Division Three. Uh, they are got a losing record, but look at that seed. They played a tough, tough uh, record this year. So uh, they're looking for their 11th win of the year. They'll play Erath, who comes in 9-9 nine and nine as the 26th seed. In Division Four, it's Covenant Christian at home. Only one loss on the year, taking on Highland Baptist uh, as the 5 versus 28 uh, there. And also in Division Four, it's Homer Christian, also at home, taking on Opelousas Catholic as uh, Homer Christian looks to advance to the next round. Let's move over to the boys in Division One. It's Central Lafouche. They are at home. They'll take on Alexandria as Alex comes in uh, to Matthews to play that one. Lafayette High will host H.L. Bourgeois uh, as the Braves will travel to Lafayette for that one, a tough matchup. In Division Two, the number one seed is Ben Franklin, and Ellender will make a trip to uh, the lakefront to play that game as Ellender is four and seven and 14 on the year, and they're going to Ben Franklin, one of the tougher teams in the state. Also in Division Two, it's Terrebonne playing a home game. Bell Chase will come from the West Bank, and uh, Terrebonne looking for their 13th win of the year. Also in Division Two, it's South Terrebonne on the road. They're going to Sam Houston, and uh, that game, again, in Sam Houston. Sam Houston is the 13th seed. Also, Division Two, North Vermilion is at home. That's in uh, Leroy. That's outside of uh, uh, Maurice over there in Lafayette. Uh, Saint Lafouche will make the, the, the trip there. Saint Lafouche having a good year, 12-5-2 and two on the year, so possible upset on the road there. Division Three, Vanderbilt is at home. They will host South Beauregard. The Terriers 11, 10, and 5, and again, just like their girls' team, uh, really showing that they played a tough, tough schedule as they come in with the eighth seed with one game over 500. Also at home in that same division, E.D. White is uh, 12 and 8. They will take on Buckeye. Uh, Buckeye is traveling in as the 28th seed. E.D. White is the 5 seed in Division 3. Also in Division 3, Morgan City on the road going to Kenner Discovery. A game obviously in Kenner uh, and uh, Morgan City as the 20th seed with a 7, 9, and 5 record. Also now in Division 4, it's Covenant Christian. They're at home. Glenmore comes in with a 10, 7, and 2 record. Covenant Christian 11, 7, and 2, but they are the 12th seed in Division 4. Uh, so they got a lot to play for as they uh, try and get to the next round. Also in Division 4, it's Homer Christian. 
They'll be on the road uh, headed to Hammond to take on St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh, the Homer Christian team is 11-6-2 on the year, and St. Thomas Aquinas coming in at 10-6-1. Uh, but as you can tell, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas also had a uh, very tough schedule, uh, very similar record, so this should be a good one. And again, that'll be on the uh, north shore of Lake Pontchartrain, up around Hammond, where St. Thomas Aquinas is. So we'll see if some of the teams can really get it going. Uh, we've seen it in the past. Vanderbilt, Edie White are two of the teams that are perennial uh, Perennial League seem to make it to these championships on both the boys and the girls' side. We'll see if some of the upstart teams, South Lafouche, South Terrebonne, Terrebonne, all having good years. And then, of course, down in the lower divisions, uh, we talk about Home of Christian and Covenant Christian also playing well. Uh, but we'll see with soccer. Uh, soccer is one of those sports where a lot of times uh, they play in, uh, we always used to laugh that they have to play through Three, three of the uh, holidays, they start right around Thanksgiving. They go through the Thanksgiving break. Of course, they go through Christmas and New Year's. And then they end up uh, always right around uh, Mardi Gras. And this year, Mardi Gras is a little bit earlier. But that's right where the playoffs will be. So uh, a lot of times, I remember in the past, they would have some of those teams that played uh, that won state championships on floats that would go through our area. But uh, it is one of those sports that... <laughs> They play in shorts, but it's always the coldest part of the year, uh, and they miss those. Those guys have to miss a lot of time when it comes to uh, the holidays because, well, they do a lot of that travel stuff during the summer, and they work harder and they play year round than just about any other sport. All right, that'll do it for this edition of Bayou Land Sports. We'll see you next time right here on HTV.